Hi everyone, this is Indra. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to solve a multiple choice questions related with eigenvalue and eigenvector by using scientific calculator. Please watch this video till the end so that you will be very clear about how to quickly solve uh, multiple choice questions related with eigenvalue and eigenvector. Okay, first of all, let me read the question. Here the question is for the matrix P, one of the eigenvalue is here negative 2. Here given that one eigenvalue is negative 2, and then we have to find out the corresponding eigenvector for this matrix P. And here four options are given. Here I am going to use uh, the scientific calculator uh, Casio uh, FX991 ES model. Okay. We have to first enter this uh, matrix P on the calculator. Okay, first of all, let's store this matrix P on the calculator. Okay, let me use this calculator. Let me just store this matrix P on this calculator. We have to go to the mode and here uh, in number 6, we can see here the uh, option for matrix. Okay, and let's hit 6. And here the mat, uh, let me just name the matrix. Uh, this matrix by the matrix A, ma matrix A, okay, let me just select A, 1, and this matrix is 3 by 3 matrix, so uh, let me just take the first option, and then uh, we have to fill all the entries of this matrix, okay, let me just store all the data, 3, and then hit the equals to button, and then negative 2, and then hit the equals to button, and then 2, like this we can fill all the data of this matrix P on this calculator. Okay, let me just store all the data. Uh, 0, 0, and finally 1. Here I have just entered uh, all the entries of this matrix P on this calculator. And then we have to just press shift and here 4 number. In number 4, we can see here matrix. So we have to press shift and number 4. And let's uh, go to the data. Uh, in number 2 and we have already used the uh, matrix A so let me just take the uh, number 2 for matrix B and here our options I am just going to uh, store all the options in this calculator our options uh, are in, in the options the matrix are uh, 3 by 1 matrix okay so let me just take the option 3 3 by 1 and let me just use the this first option A. Let me just take the first option A. Uh, let me just uh, enter the data 3, negative 2, and then 1. Okay. Here I have just stored this, uh, this matrix on this calculator just by giving the name as the B. And then we have to press the AC key. And then we have to press the shift and then number 4. And let me just, uh, we have already stored the matrix A and B. Okay, let me just take the matrix A, number 3. And then we have to just multiply. I am just going to multiply this matrix, original matrix P, with all the options. Okay, I am just taking first option here. And then shift, and then go to the matrix. And let's take the matrix B. Here, matrix A times matrix B. I am just going to multiply these two matrix. And then we have to hit equals. Here the result is 15, 3 by 3, uh, result is 3 by 3 cross matrix here. Uh, 15, 5, and 1. And here given that eigenvalue is negative 2. So we have to divide all these elements, all these elements of this output just by negative 2. Okay, let me just divide this all data by negative 2. And if this answer A is correct uh, if the this option a is the corresponding eigenvector then the result after dividing by negative 2 will be the same matrix okay after dividing this result by negative 2 if the answer is if the result is same as the original uh, matrix same as this option a then this will be the correct answer otherwise not correct answer okay if we divide this result by negative 2 then our uh, matrix will be uh, negative 15 over 2, uh, negative 5 over 2, and negative 1 over 2. 
which is not same as this option A. So this option A is not the correct answer for this question. After dividing this result, uh, multi uh, product result, just by the eigenvalue, the output should be same as the option. Okay. But here, in this case, uh, after dividing by negative 2, uh, the output matrix is not same as the option. Okay. So this option A is the incorrect option. Okay. Let me just take the next matrix B. Okay. Let me just store. Let me just go shift and 4 and here number 2. Let me just store in the matrix uh, B. Okay. Just changing the matrix B. And let me just store this data option B. 3, 2, negative 1. 3, 2, and negative 1. And press the AC. I'm just going to multiply uh, this matrix A which is in number 3 and matrix B which is in number 4 and let's see the result here here the, this is the product uh, product of these two matrix matrix P and this matrix and if this answer if this option is correct uh, then we have to the result after dividing this output by negative 2 will be same as this matrix okay Let's divide this output by negative 2. If we divide uh, this output by negative 2, then the result will be negative 3 over 2, uh, 5 over 2, and 1 over 2, which is not same as this option B. If the answer is correct, then the result after dividing will be same as the um, original matrix, or this matrix, okay. But here, this case is not valid so this option b is also the incorrect answer okay let me just take the th uh, third option okay let me just change the matrix b and let's enter one negative two and finally three and then let's do the matrix multiplication matrix A times matrix B and let's see the result here the result is uh, this let's divide this result by negative 2 uh, negative 13 over 2 negative 7 over 2 negative 3 over 2 which is not same as this uh, matrix okay which is not same as we, we need the same matrix we need the same matrix after dividing by negative 2 so the option C is not the correct answer, okay. And let me just uh, check for the option D. Let me just change the uh, matrix B only, okay, let me data and number 2, okay. Let me just enter this data, 2 uh, and then 5 and then 0, okay. And let's do the matrix multiplication, shift and matrix A times matrix B okay let's see the result here this is the result let's divide this result by negative 2 uh, after dividing this matrix by negative 2 we will get uh, 2 and then 5 0 after dividing this matrix by negative 2 we will get 2 5 and 0 which is same as this option after dividing this result by the eigenvalue we will get the same matrix we will get the same matrix here let's check here after dividing this matrix by negative 2 we will get 2 uh, 5 and 0 which is same as this option d so this option d is the correct answer for this multiple choice question here we will get the same result same result as the option d after dividing this result by negative 2. So, the corresponding eigenvector for this matrix P when the eigenvalue is negative 2 is just this vector 2, 5, 0. So, the option D is the correct answer for this multiple choice question. This is the way of solving uh, the questions related with eigenvector by using the scientific calculator.
in our next video we will discuss more about such types of the tips and tricks related with the calculator so please keep watching keep loving this channel and don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, this much for today thank you all of you